we're gonna look for another game. I'm really feeling this team a lot. It does have its shortcomings, but as long as you play somewhat intelligently with the team, I think you can pull out of a lot of situations. Now, potential leads here. Considering the fact that this is a rain team, I'm thinking Polytoto will be the most likely lead. I kind of want to lead in with Haxorus and just go straight up for the for the outrage and kill this thing off the bat. You know what, in fact, let's go in there with Tyranitar. I want to be able to see if this Politoed is going to be fast. Then again, Politoed naturally outspeeds Tyranitar, doesn't it? So he's, he's going to get his reign up regardless, but... Okay, we can, you know, I think we have a couple options here. We can go for... I, I can see Ferro, I can see, um... I can see this, uh, I call it Ferrothorn. What the hell is this thing called? This Bagworm Pokemon? I know it's I know it's called the Bagworm Pokemon, but I can't remember its fucking name. I, I'll, makes sense, right? What is this thing's name? I can't remember. But anyways, we're gonna go in there with Diamond's hand because oh Fortress, there we go, yeah. Fortress. I kinda saw it coming. I just wasn't exactly sure. Cause you know, the Polytoad, I know most likely this thing has damp rock and wants to get his rain up, so. I kinda actually wanna go into Blastoise and then start or spearing this thing. Cause I don't want Dimanitan to be forced to um actually you know what yeah we're gonna go with the flare blitz fuck it balls to the walls let's go and even with the rain negating the damage from the flare blitz that shit still did 33% to a polytoad man in the rain our manitan is too damn strong man <laughs> this shit is crazy <laughs> that shit is loud <laughs> that shit is loud <laughs> I'm gonna try to make that shit a thing man <laughs> but anyways okay now I'm seeing this is a great chance to go into Tyranitar because now we got sand, we got max special defense, we got a modest nature, we're taking that. Oh, what the fuck? This is why I love Skull on Blastoise, man. It works out really nicely. But we can use this as a chance to get up our stealthies, but I can see Ferrothorn coming in and using that as an opportunity for that as well. So, you know what? Let's go for the stealthies. Then. Oh, he has Focus Blast? Tyranitar, man. I can see why everyone uses this. I can, I can see why everyone uses this thing now. This thing is really freaking strong, man. But now we have a chance to go into Blastoise, who does ha naturally have a lot of special defense, so we should be able to take anything the Politoid wants to go for right now. I cannot believe Tyranitar took a Focus Blast quad week from a Politoid. In that, that's insane, man. That's insane. But okay, so. Now I'm seeing this as a chance to go for a straight up an aura sphere, you know? Fuck it. We'll be able to kill this Feral Thorn with two aura spheres. We should be able to. Damn, just one. Well, it was a crit, but at least now he doesn't have anything to spin away. He doesn't have anything to set up on us. We're we're in a good position right now. Although Relicanth, even though you don't see him around in the OU tier, Relicanth can do damage, man. I mean, I know he has head smash and just from the high base power, he doesn't really need all that much attack, but he still... Relicanth can do work, man. Anyways, now, I'm seeing, uh... I think Tyranitar can still be useful in this game, considering that it has Thunder Wave. This Politoed, I know he's probably gonna probably try to go for maybe... Do they get Energy Ball? I think they get either Energy Ball or Grass Knot, one of the two. Either way, I'm about to find out. My shit's about to get wrecked right now. Okay. He hard switches to make me switch, but I don't switch. <laughs> and he has rain dish and leftovers. What a whore. Go for the skull, fuck it. Although, wait, wait, no, no, it's quad resistant, but I want to get a burn. I don't have toxic on this team, so if we can get the convenient burn on this guy, that's a-okay with me. Ludicolo, Ludicolo, okay. You know what, we can just go for Gorgias as well to get our burn. We don't really have to stay in there with Blastoise. He's gonna go for Elite Seed, we're immune, thankfully. So, yeah, I'm seeing this as a great chance to just go for the will o -Wisp. Nothing really wants to um, switch in on that. Well, nothing, I mean, well, there's Pokemon that wouldn't mind the will o -Wisp, obviously, but, I mean, it's gonna hit everybody, so it's fine. At least now this guy's recovery will be negated to an extent. Although he has a lot of recovery right now. Uh, okay. So he has Ice Beam on him. Man, what does Ludicolo, what does Ludicolo get hit super effective by? He gets hit by a bug? I think that's it. 
<laughs> I think that's fucking it. He just gets hit by bug, that's it. Water grass is a really good type, but alright, he's got he's got the ice beam, so. I wish we had toxic. Hmm. Alright, well you know what? Fuck it, let's go into Gyarados. I mean, Ludicolo really can't do anything to Gyarados, right? And, you know, we, we only have water moves, but, you know, considering that we're in the rain, they should still do a lot of damage, so... I think we're in a... I think we're still in a good position, you know? Maybe not. Oh, we got the flinch. Very nice, very nice. That burn, though, man, that's helping to at least keep his recovery at bay. And once this rain stops, then at least we'll finally have a leg up on this Ludicolo. I'm hoping we can get Darmanitan hand in there and wreck this thing with the Flavorids. Let's go for another waterfall, fuck it. Residual damage, I can accept- Oh, god damn it, he has Leech Seed too? This dude has Rain Dish, Leech Seed, Leftovers. What do you- what do you- what else do you have? Giga Drain? Okay. I feel like going for Haxorus and just going straight up for an Outrage or something. You know what? That might just be the best option. Let's go into Haxorus and get an Outrage going. He's going for the Ice Beam. It's going to do a lot, I know. But we did. We need a Wall Breaker in here right now. And the best Wall Breaker I'm looking at, at least for this opportunity, is definitely Haxorus. So you know what? It's going to kill something. Nothing wants to stay in there and take a hit. Nothing wants to switch in on that. So you know what? We're, we're good. He's got the Politoed, but I don't think this thing is choiced. So we'll just go for another Outrage and kill this thing. I don't think you're choiced. I hope you're not choice. Were you choice? No, 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 I don't think you're choice. Let me see. Wait a minute, this is too. Yeah, he switched moves on me at one point. Yeah, he had he used Scald and then he used Focus Blast, so he's not choice. This Polytoad's going to die, and once this thing dies, we're switching Tyranitar in when we get a chance after Haxor stops outraging, and that way we'll be able to stop the rain and you know, I mean because the last thing we want is this Relicamp getting his waterfalls boosted by the rain or, you know, having the Skulls do a lot of damage, so... He's gonna go into Relicamp now, but I, let me just make sure I... Data Relicamp. This thing is pretty strong, considering that it has some really high base power moves, like Head Smash, I... I like this thing a lot, but... The Choice Scarf, is that common on this? Is that common? I don't think it's too common. I want to kind of stay in and go for another Outrage, but... You know what, yeah, let's go into um, my Gorgeist. It's actually max... Oh, wait a minute. This is another reason why I love Gorgeist. With its um, Frisk ability, to be able to find out what the opponent has... That's... That's a really freaking good ability, you can't lie. But anyways, we're gonna go for a Leech Seed here. He's gonna go into his Jellicent. And of course the Leech Seed misses. Of course it does. I'm not, I'm not surprised whatsoever. Let's go for another one. Even though he has Recover, we need Toxic. He has Hex? Wait, why did I stay in? I'm, I'm, I'm physically defensive, and Jellicent is usually... Okay, lesson learned. Anyways, we're going to go into Tyranitar now to stop this guy's... Um, to stop his reign, and we're going to also... Well, yeah, I already have our stuff. So. I don't want to hit him with a Thunder Wave. I don't want him to be... I don't want it to be slowed down. I want it to get hit with a burn. Fuck it, Thunder Punch. And I'm thinking, after Tyranitar dies, then we can... Wait a minute, the sand might just help Relicamp out. He gets special defense. But we should be able to outspeed him with Darmanitan, considering the fact that he is choice banned, so we should be okay. That Thunder Punch still did a lot of damage, man. So we're going to die now to the burn. But, we now have a plethora of options here. So we can just go into Haxorus and start outraging again. Thankfully this dude ain't carrying no fairies, man. Because fairies give my team... They, they give my team hell. When, but then again, we have Darmanitan to take fairy moves. So, I don't know. I mean, to be honest, I haven't really fought fairies with this team yet. So, I can't really gauge how well we'd be able to stack against them. But, I'm just... I, I just... I'm scared of fairies, man. They fuck up everything. Goddamn Gardevoir, when it goes mega and it starts using that pixelate hyper voice, niggas is dying. Niggas is falling like flies, man. I, I hate fairies, man. 
Oh, then again, I like. I, I can't say I hate them. I, I love them, but only when they work for me. <laughs> if, they, if, they, if the opponent has a fucking theory, then fuck that. I hate them. <laughs> oh man, but okay. So here comes Relicamp again. But you got Aqua Jet, don't you? Oh well, whatever. Oh yeah. Oh. Wait, no, no, no. Oh wow, damn, this thing has bulk. This thing has bulk. It, it lived an outrage from a life orb. Haxorus, even though I'm jolly and not adamant, but still, that's pretty impressive. But we got Dimanus, so it's all good. Anyways, we're gonna finish this up. Let's go for an earthquake. Should have gone for a flare blitz just for the lulls, you know? But what? Okay. That would have been res that would have been fucking retarded. How we go for a flare blitz on a, on a relic camp? Like what the hell? We're getting some pretty good games in this session, though. I'm I'm pretty satisfied with this. I don't know why his Relicanth isn't Choice Scarf though, because Choice Scarf just seems like a much better option, you know, but yeah. Anyways, we're going to finish this Lantern off right here with the Earthquake, and that'll be a good game. So, you guys gotta let me know in the comments what you think of this team. I really like it a lot, you know, it, it covers each other's asses pretty damn well. GG. And, I just, you know what? I'm sorry, even though this team is really well structured, I think, I'm still concerned about fairies, man. I, I almost want to look for a person who's using like a team that functions around fairies and steel types just to see how well I stack up because I know for a fact it's going to be an issue. I'm trying to see just where the team's shortcomings are, you know? The Tyranitar is a little bit weird, but it does its job pretty well. You can't lie about that. And plus, it's a really solid counter to Talonflame, and uh, it, it works so well against so many Pokemon. I can see why people love Tyranitar. 